Lady. I wanna make love. Uh, I want you. The girl say your first boyfriend. The girl live in a gym. From the show, I love him. Got my ice cream. No what this man, no the pan. The girl is team. The girl them see the girl. The girl and start screaming. Baby, come. guys so today's video is going to be a part of a series that I wanted to do because I firmly believe that if you have knowledge about certain things then you should share it um, okay now we're on to the really sticky subject of feminine care um, I've been doing a little research because I wanted to um, talk about this subject um, on, on a video because I wanted to educate, I wanted to um, share what, what my experience is and what works for me with other women um, who are watching my videos. So I hope <laughs> I don't offend anyone but yeah, um, feminine hygiene. First off, I'm going to talk about menstrual periods and just get that out of the way. Um, yeah. I don't do tampons. Um, I think your body is naturally trying to get rid of waste and that's what menstruation is. It's just getting rid of useless matter that needs to come out. So I think plugging the hole, I don't care how um, convenient it is to wear them, I'm just not doing it because I just want that stuff to come out of my body. I just want it out. So yeah, I use pads. Um, so, as a rule, I tend to go commando, I don't like underwear, um, and that's just to keep, you know, my JJ healthy. Um, yeah, but on my period, I will wear underwear, and that will be cotton underwear, and I will use pads. There are some pads out there that are, um, are organic ones that you know don't have the plastic backing in them but I don't trust those because I've had a couple of accidents with those so um yeah I may try to be you know kinder on the planet and things like that but it's not working for me when it comes to my period so I use um body form and these are the Dio Fresh I use the both types of deodorized one not than the undeodorized one but um yeah that's what I use they're the most comfortable pads ever um, they're really thin and they're highly absorbent, so it's, it's the, the, I just love these pads, and yeah, so that's what I, that's what I use, I don't use tampons, so, um, oh yeah, and I've heard of stories where, you know, women have forgotten them up there and suffered from toxic shock syndrome and all that, I mean, well, I, I, I just can't be bothered to put my body through that, so, yeah, no tampons for me, um, also, no douching, I don't ever douche. Um, what I do, which seems to work, is when you're in the shower, just, you know, while it's wet, do not have soap on your hands or anything like that, but while you're wet and your hands are wet, just stick your finger up there and swizzle it around and just get that stuff out of there. You know, just clean it out. Um, a lot of that stuff that's there is just um, an overproductive bacterial flora. Um, and that's just something that we women suffer from. We we eat a lot of chocolate, a lot of sugar, which, you know, the JJ doesn't like. Um, we, you know, use condoms. The JJ doesn't like that either. Um, oh, yeah, I'm going to say it. Um, bacterial vaginosis, um, BV, um, yeast infections, all that stuff that we women have to go through. Um, yeah, it's something we need to do. Okay, on the external side, um, dealing with, with, with BV and yeast infections, um, like I said, not wearing any underwear helps. It helps me. Um, it gets some air, it's just free, yeah, it's not enclosed because what do bacteria like? We all did biology in school, didn't we? So yeah, bacteria likes, you know, heat, it likes damp um, for it to, 
to, to, to flower and grow and reproduce. So yeah, mm -mm, not doing it. Um, especially with, with when you're wearing um, tights, not wearing underwear with that. Um, yeah, that's not good for the JJ. So yeah, that's the first thing to tackle BV in yeast infections. Um, give it some air. Um, I think, actually, <laughs> I think underwear was invented around the same time that um, face powder was invented. You know, like in the old days when they used to, in France and England, they used to cover the dirt on their, their faces with the white face powder. Um, that's because they never used to wash. They're very unhygienic. And then um, I think the person who invented underwear did that to kind of mask the smell, maybe. Um, <laughs> but yeah, don't need it. In all seriousness, you do not need underwear, um, especially if it's not the breathable type. Like you don't need to be wearing nylon um, and spandex and that sort of thing next to your JJ. So yeah, um, what else works? Okay, <clears throat> like I said before, no douching. Don't douche. Your body, your JJ takes care of itself. Um, yeah, so. It doesn't need the extra. Sometimes, I think if your doctor prescribes you to douche, then by all means follow your doctor's orders. But generally, don't douche. You upset the the, the, the balance of the good bacteria in your JJ, and um, that's what causes BV. Um, you have an, an imbalance somewhere. So, um, yeah, don't douche. Um, and use, well, the, the soap that I found... Um, that you can use down there um, to keep it fresh um, throughout the day is a soap called Safeguard and that's this soap right here and trust me if I tell you that this is the only soap that I know actually keeps your JJ fresh for well over 12 hours so um, let me just get one thing straight your JJ shouldn't smell funky and for all of you men out there who are watching this video, your your bits down there are not supposed to smell funky either. It's, it's no matter what anyone tells you that, yeah, it's supposed to smell, yeah, it's supposed to smell of you, and that's it. It's not supposed to smell of anything else, and that's to do with pheromones and hormones and all that. Your 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 special, um, that's your special smell, but it shouldn't be funky. If it's funky, something's going on. So um, yeah, this soap. Um, it's just brilliant at, you know, just keeping you fresh. It kills 99% of germs and bacteria on your body. Um, and it's slightly deodorizing. So, yeah, this will not irritate your JJ, um, and it'll keep her fresh. So, yeah, I love this soap. Um, I don't... I don't use it every day, but yeah, when I'm, you know, on holiday and I don't like in a tropical place... Um, where I know there's going to be a lot of bugs and, and germs that I'm, my body's not used to, then I'm taking that safeguard soap with me. Um, what else? Um, ladies, when you go to the bathroom to go, you know, tinkle or, you know, go do, you know, a poo-poo or anything like that, do have some wet wipes and wipe from front to back. Um, yeah, I've, I use... <coughs> these feminine whites which I got from um god what's the name of this or Poundland I think it is yeah it's Poundland and they've, they've pretty much got them on every high street but it's, it's the nicest one I've found so far that I like anyway and you know what these are two for a pound so yeah they smell divine and they're just very refreshing and they don't leave any sort of residue on you um so yeah when it, i just put this in my handbag whenever i use the toilet i'm wiping um if i'm at home and i've gone and done a poo poo then i'm going in the shower no question about it um but yeah so wipes feminine wipes you don't want anything highly perfumed or with any other products in it uh, you just want to be clean. Um, baby wipes work just as well. Um, and one other thing, be kind to the environment. Do not flush these down the toilet unless it specifically says it can be flushed. And I know it's gross, but, you know, you've got... Put it in the sanitary waste basket that they have in most bathrooms um, or just throw it in the bin. But don't flush these down the toilet. Okay. 
so tackling BV and yeast again. Um, I want to talk about diet, um, but when, it's, when I talk about diet, diet encompasses a lot of things. So I'm going to talk about how to deal with BV and yeast but with your diet a um, little bit later on. But first of all, I'm going to talk about how to treat it. And this is just plain whole milk yogurt. It's just plain yogurt, nothing else in it but probiotics. So, um, yeah, <laughs> I know I said I don't use tampons, but if you have an outbreak, you know, just have a, a yogurt tub that's specifically for you and do put, you know, a big sticker on there if you're in a family that says do not use, or, you know, or just put, you know, contaminated or something on it. Do not use this yogurt because this yogurt, actually, you should probably just, you know, take a little bit out and, and put it into a different container. You could do that. Um, but, um, yeah, take a tampon, cover it in this stuff, stick it up there, um, walk around with it for a day or so no, actually no not for a day what you want to do is keep changing it every four hours and in about a day or so you'll be clear trust me now it's got to be the yogurt with life cultures for it to work just any old yogurt is not going to work so plain yogurt with probiotics life cultures stick a stick a you know tampon in covered in this stuff stick it up there and bob's your uncle you'll be good to go um obviously if there's something else going on there do go see your doctor because if it's not clearing up then you've probably got an underlying problem um yeah so yogurt takes care of yeast infections as well so you're tackling it from the outside now some women um suffer from extreme cases of BV and these can be quite painful and um, not painful so much but it's just you know just uncomfortable so much that you know the yogurt's not helping well there is a product that you can use um, over the counter that works amazingly well and it's made from natural ingredients and it tells you a course of treatments between three and seven days so that product is called Balance Active. Let's see if you can focus on that. Balance Active. Now this is a gel, and when you have an, when you have a serious outbreak of BV and just nothing's helping you, um, this is what you use. You can buy this from Boots. Um, I'm not aware of anywhere else that sells it. It's only available in the UK and it's available from Boots and doctors have been you know raving about this product and it's absolutely brilliant so yeah balance active follows his erections between three and seven days and you'll be good but again you know these are treatments so what you want to tackle is the underlying cause so you can treat it but try to you know change your lifestyle so you don't get any more outbreaks We live in an over-medicated society and it's such a vicious, vicious circle, um, or cycle rather. Um, yeah, you get BV and you get a yeast infection and you go to the doctor. I mean, you don't even consider natural natural um, remedies. You just run straight to the doctor and what do they give you? They give you antibiotics. What do antibiotics give you? Yeast infections and BV. So a vicious, vicious cycle. So you, antibiotics are giving it to you and you have to go take an antibiotic to deal with the, you know, the after effects of the antibiotic. So don't take antibiotics unless you absolutely need to. Um, ladies, it's causing problems in your vajayjays. Do not take antibiotics unless you absolutely need to. Because you know what? When you really need, you know, the power of an antibiotic, in the future at some point when you really do absolutely need that help it's not going to work because your body's immune to it yeah your bodies do get immune to antibodies and that's what happens when you take too much of it besides the fact that your body needs to deal with it um as well as the after effects of it so no antibiotics unless you absolutely absolutely need it <laughs> 